So YouTube, team keep it clean. The very first notable cut, not a surprise cut, but notable cut uh, for the Baltimore Ravens has been Tony Jefferson. Um, now, Tony Jefferson is somebody who obviously has a lot of emotional ties to the Baltimore Ravens. Um, they really love Tony Jefferson. They love his vibe, love his energy and whatnot. Um, but him being released, it, it doesn't come as a surprise to me. Um, and at the same time, while I don't think it's a surprise, I also don't necessarily think that this is the end of the road with the Ravens with Tony Jefferson uh, because they have some options here. But Tony Jefferson also has some options here. Um, I and I said in a video that we put out earlier today, too, that I felt like Geno Stone, that he was a lock. I feel like Geno Stone right now um, is the better player for the Ravens. Um, and somebody asks, who you think has a better chance at safety? Geno Stone, Tony Jefferson, uh, or Ardarius Washington? And I said, I feel like Geno Stone was at the top. Then second was Tony Jefferson. And third was Ardarius Washington. Uh, so we'll see how the rest of the roster plays out. Um, but with Tony Jefferson being cut, he could end up, it could be a couple of things. One, he could, could get cut and Ravens could be like, oh, we're done. That's a wrap. We're finished. That's it. And then he could move on. I know one of my guys from the video earlier, he suggested, oh, maybe Wink might uh, recruit Tony Jefferson to the Giants. We'll see. Um, but or another option that Tony Jefferson would have is if somebody else wanted him. If another team decided, hey, Tony Jefferson, what's up, man? And he said, oh, hey, what's up? They start talking and boom, he ends up going somewhere else. Um, but another option that we know the Ravens are known for. Uh, I know a lot of times they're called the, the handshake deals. To where the Ravens will cut a player, but they'll come to a verbal agreement. Now, it's not a contractual agreement. So somebody could change their mind and be like, oh, I'm out. Like, shout out to Ben Mason. But anyway, um, they could come to a uh, handshake deal where Tony Jefferson could be like, all right, you cut me. I get it. I know you got to do your whole roster thing and the maneuvering because this, this is all part of it. We've seen it before with the Ravens plenty of times. Uh, and we, we will see it plenty more times, too. But where they'll cut a player. But they will expect that player to, all right, after we get through this initial 53-man roster, all right, we'll sign you back. We'll bring you back. Now, with that, the Ravens, if Tony Jefferson agreed to that too, the Ravens would have two options at that point. They could put Tony Jefferson back on the active roster, or they could put Tony Jefferson on the practice squad. So if they put him on the practice squad, that would give them even more flexibility with Tony Jefferson. But then at the same time, it would depend on how much you really love them like that. And if you're willing to cut him uh, and let him sort of test the market or go through waivers and whatnot, then you know that there's an opportunity that he has to sign with another team. So if he's on a practice squad, then another team could pluck him from Ravens practice squad. Uh, so it's just it's just a matter of seeing how the Ravens maneuver this thing. I think he's going to end back with the team, whether it's on the active roster or the practice squad. We'll see. Um, but I, I just again, this is not a surprise. But uh, I just, because after the first preseason game, it was like, oh, okay, all right, Tony Jefferson, we see you. Then I know the second game was like, ooh, he was, he was struggling a little bit. Uh, but in the third game, he looked a lot better. Um, so it's, it's just one of those things where I, I expect him to be back in some way, form, or fashion. But at the same time, if Tony Jefferson decides, hey, he want to flap his Ravens wing somewhere else, you can't be mad at him.